Hi! Good day, students! Welcome to Science School Love. And for our lesson today, we are going to discuss the subatomic particles. And we will focus on determining the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. But before that, let's have a short review about atom. Atom is known as the smallest particle of an element. It is usually a single neutral particle. An atom has subatomic particles, namely protons, an electrons, and a neutron, that are held together by nuclear bonds to maintain the electrostatic attraction between the electron and the nucleus. Most elements in the periodic table exist as atoms. On the other hand, class, when atom is combined, a molecule is formed. Molecule is made up of two different or two identical atoms that are chemically combined. Let's have some example. Two atoms of oxygen is the oxygen we breathe. It becomes ozone molecule when three oxygen atoms combine. An atom of oxygen and two hydrogen atoms makes water or H2O. The term atom came from a Greek word atomos, meaning indivisible. Today, an atom is defined as the smallest particle that makes up matter. For decades, scientists have been gathering evidence about its structure. Their studies led to the conclusion that atoms are mostly empty space and they have three major subatomic particles. First is the electrons, the negative part of the atom, trouble in random paths around its central part known as the nucleus. The nucleus contains the second and the third parts, which is the protons and neutron. The protons and neutrons are both small but massive, and their masses are nearly equal. The proton is positively charged, while the neutron has no charge. Protons and neutrons contribute to the mass of the atom. Protons and neutrons are called nucleons because they are found inside the nucleus. The table below shows some of the properties of the three subatomic particles. Now, this time, we will going to determine the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons in an atom. Look on the illustration. Elements are given letter symbols including their atomic number and mass. The mass number A is written on the upper portion beside the symbol X, while the atomic number Z is written below the mass number. The number of protons in an atom is called the atomic number of an element. A neutral atom holds an equal number of protons and electrons. The atomic number also indicates the number of electrons in that atom. Meanwhile, the mass number is the sum or the total number of protons and neutrons in an atom. To illustrate further, let's see the symbol for identifying the fluorine atom. With an atomic number of 9, fluorine has 9 protons. Since the number of protons must be the same as the number of electrons, it has also 9 electrons. How many neutrons does it have? 
to compute for the number of neutrons, subtract the atomic number from the mass number 19 minus 9. Therefore, fluorine has 10 neutrons. Alright? Always remember that for a neutral atom, atomic number with the symbol Z is equal to the number of electrons equal number of protons. Okay? Mass number with the symbol A is equal to the number of protons plus number of neutrons. And the number of neutrons is equal to mass number minus atomic number. Right? Now, it's your turn. Determine the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons by completing the table below. To serve as your guide, the first one is already done for you. Thank you for listening. See you on our next lesson. Bye!